Hello guys, today we will create animation grid uh, with sample image expression which will react with uh, color brightness in our footage or I don't know any letter or kind of. I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, this is what we will create today and after this tutorial we can create something like this or maybe even uh, with videos or something else, I don't know. So it's, uh, this tutorial is uh, quite flexible. Also subscribe to my Instagram, I uh, post uh, their new experiments in motion, in creative coding, etc. Okay, let's start. Let's create a composition, call it shape and size 50 and 50. And in duration let's make it one second. Cool, let's zoom it and create a simple rectangle like this at center and it should be without fill and with stroke 2.5 and maybe let's change the color like a little bit blue not white like this maybe okay now in shape we need to add effect packer and board and make it minus 80 and let's size down it a little scale down cool now we need to animate rotation and size important thing not scale only size in rectangle paths okay let's select these two keys move it here and animate rotation minus 45 degree and size like this perfect but it looks a little bit like i don't know boring <laughs> let's make it looks like steel or maybe aluminum i don't know we need to add layer style and bell and emboss Let's change depth 120, highlight opacity 100% and shadow opacity 100%. Now we have kind of highlights and shadows and it looks more natural, more like metal, steel. One important thing, here we need to increase uh, the length of our layer for these borders in the beginning and in the end like here okay let's create a new composition uh, call it footage and size 1000 and 1000 and let's change duration like 10 seconds okay Let's write a type. You can use any type you want. Make it a center and make it big like this. You can use any font you, which you like. Okay, also let's create a background. Just a black background, black solid under the type. Nice. Now we need to precompose our type. Let's call it type. And we need to make this layer in 3D. Wait, actually we need to move our anchor point at center and now make 3D. Cool, now let's open and I need this geometry option. Let's change render to advanced 3D. And we need to change extrude to 140. As you can see we have a 3D type now, but one thing, anchor point is not at the center, as you can see. So we need to open anchor point and change it to 70. Perfect. Let's create a new composition, let's call it main, with the same settings as the previous composition. And let's move here footage and shape composition. 
okay we can turn off footage and at shape we need to move anchor point at left top angle let's change position to zero and zero and as you can see we have our shape now we have our shape in left angle because it's uh, zero and zero coordinate so now we need to duplicate these shapes and create a grid but it's too long so let's create an expression press alt or option on mac and click to this button now we open the expression and just copy expression for position from video description below uh, now we can just duplicate this layer and as you can see we create a perfect grid that's uh, how expression can uh, help you and save your time no need to move it uh, by hands etc now we have the grid uh, but let's talk about expression so let's remove these compositions you can press E button twice and after effects shows your every expression in your composition so here we have two values first it's the size of our shape composition and second is the size of the main composition or footage composition so if you would like to change the resolution you need to change these two parameters okay here we calculate the number of items per row so how many shapes compositions uh, will be in this row okay so it's just made for uh, compose divide shape uh, compose and then we calculate the position index it's a number of your layer items per row we just calculate before and trim piece it's just uh, size of our shape composition for y we need to uh, matte floor it's just rounding our value uh, index minus one uh, divide item per row and multiply shape complete and return x and y it's just here these two digits if you don't understand how this expression works don't worry it's okay expressions is not easy coding is not easy and uh, especially these expressions it's uh, huge and uh, I think many motion designers just copy expressions to the notes or maybe save it in uh, bookmarks so kind of so don't worry it's okay okay we're done with position expression and we need one last expression uh, before the copying we need to time enable time remap with time remap you can control time in your composition in shape composition you can control frames etc for example if i move this key our shape composition will start with this key not before okay let's move it back and create expression for time remap but no need to delete these two keys so press alt or option mark and here and copy this expression for time remap from video description below okay so we have an error it's okay don't worry let's open editor and after effects shows us a line with error and as you can see uh, footage composition with lowercase and here we have capital F so we need to change it it's important in coding perfect now we can Now we can duplicate our layers, our shape, like this, and we 
already see the result perfect okay let's talk about expression this expression called sample image function and for this we need target sample point it's uh, just position of our layer like this is first and this is second x and y and sample size is just one pixel so sample equal target dot sample image and two values sample point and sample size and here we just uh, convert our value to time remap value and then we just return this value and we have this result now let's turn on our footage composition and as you can see when we have a white color it's end of our shape composition and if we have black color we have start of our uh, shape composition so uh, what we need to do now we need to select all layers shape layers and increase it okay let's animate our 3d type let's scroll down to the footage open type open rotation make a keys uh, and one or two seconds create new keys 180 180 180 let's make easy ease and let's change our speed graph like this and let's spread it like this perfect and let's go back to our main composition let's turn all the footage composition okay now let's lock our composition and click here to the footage uh, now we have two windows and we can see the result so how it works okay let's select our type composition and we need to add effect gauss blue I want to add blur because uh, it gives more gray shades, gray color and uh, our result will be better because it depends on brightness of white. So as you can see we have a lot of different uh, small shapes now. Also I want to add simple choker effect just because I don't really like this font and how it looks here and we can place simple choker above gauss blur and change it maybe like this yeah i think it looks better okay and let's a little bit move our type to the center here yeah perfect okay let's open our main composition and close this window and i think we done we have a really nice result uh, if you don't see preview uh, don't worry just render it it's gonna be perfect if we open shape composition and select our keyframes and just reverse it as you can see we will get the opposite result like inversion or kind of so also you can play with our shape you can create a different shape something unique maybe without pucker and blood it will be just a rectangles or maybe you can add something different maybe I don't know zigzag maybe change it a little bit maybe like 
this. Oh, nice. We have kind of flowers now. I don't know. So we can play with it. You can do whatever you want. Some something like this. I don't know. Just play. Just create your unique shape here. Also, you can change the type. You can use not only S. You can use I don't know F G K etc. Also, you can use any video instead of just a shape layer like here. So whatever you want. That's it, guys. Uh, I hope you have a really nice result, and you can share with me on Instagram maybe, and just subscribe. Uh, my channel if you like it like <laughs> if you like it and leave a comment how I can improve it maybe or just and I don't know any feedback will be good and thank you guys